Police search a car and make a gruesome discovery in the trunk, the body of a missing 19-year-old girl. Good morning and thank you for joining us. I'm Andy Sirota. And I'm Sion Rhodes. In for Sarah Donchi, this is the man who police have in custody right now. His name is Troy Parker. Officers say he was the victim's boyfriend. Channel 2's Kathy Hernandez has been following the details in this case. She is live now with the very latest. Kathy? And good morning, police say Troy Parker confessed to killing the victim here at his home in Missouri City. Then they say that he stuffed the body inside a trunk and drove less than three miles away. They also say family members use the Find My Friend app to find her body. Like, wow, couldn't believe he was that type of dude. I didn't know he do stuff like that. You know, thought he had something for himself in his life. A shock to people who know Troy Parker, a 20-year-old now charged with murder. Police say the family of his girlfriend, Sabrina Herrera, reported her missing yesterday. They had used the app on the iPhone to locate her vehicle. It was very unlike her not to check in or to be missing for this period of time. Uh, they located her vehicle. They called the police department. According to investigators, when police arrived to Block Bend Oak and Ken Forest, they found her dead in the trunk of a car. Investigators learned her boyfriend, Parker, was the last to see her. They say officers found him at his home on Quell Run Court, and he confessed to killing Herrera at his home, stuffing her in the trunk and abandoning the car. He was just really a uh, matter of fact in what had occurred. Uh, he did so show some remorse. Neighbors say he lived here with his twin brother and their adoptive mother and was a star football player in high school. They thought he had a bright future. You know, he came over, shot some basketball a couple of times. You know, we talked about sports and work, and I just thought he was a good kid. I didn't know he was that type of kid. Police are not yet saying how the victim died until the medical examiner performs an autopsy. Parker right now is being held in the Fort Bend County Jail without bond. Reporting live in Missouri City, Kathy Hernandez, KPRC, Channel 2 News.